The West Wing actor John Spencer died of a heart attack on December 16, 2005, at the age of 58. As an actor, Spencer began his career in the early 1970s, appearing in several off-Broadway productions. His Broadway debut was in 1977's In the Count of Monte Cristo. His film credits include The Verdict, Lovesick, and Bright Lights, Big City. On December 16, 1989, Lee Van Cleef, best known for his roles in spaghetti westerns and action movies, died of a heart attack at the age of 64. Van Cleef's career began with small roles in television and movies in the 1950s. Along with his acting career, Van Cleef also worked as a director and producer. He directed two episodes of the TV series The Rifleman and produced the 1971 film Death Valley. Madeline Solomon Rue appeared in numerous film and television projects throughout her career. When she was 17 years old, Rue debuted in show business at the Copacabana nightclub in New York City. As a result of multiple sclerosis, Rue was incapacitated by pneumonia and died at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles. For more than 60 years, Robert Easton appeared in radio, film, and television. As a result of his mastery of English dialects, he was known as the Man of a Thousand Voices. He spent decades working in Hollywood as a dialogue or accent coach. He died in Toluca Lake at 81 years of age. Apocalypse Now and The Outsider's actor Sam Bottoms died at 53 of glioblastoma multiforme, a type of brain tumor. In the course of his career, Bottoms appeared in dozens of films and TV shows. A major female star during the 1950s and 1960s, Silvana Mangano emerged from the neorealist movement. Mangano died of lung cancer on December 16, 1989 after a surgical procedure left her in a coma on December 4, 1989. 